University of Missouri graduate student Roland Olu spends his summer in the field. He's studying sweet sorghum at the MU Delta Research Center. Researchers say the tall corn-like grass already shows promise as a renewable source of ethanol. With those high prices of uh, demand for biofuels, that's an opportunity for local farmers to make more profits. Sweet sorghum can produce the same amount of ethanol as corn but uses less nitrogen in water and returns nutrients to the soil. The plant, originally from Africa, grows best in warmer climates. We in Africa, we, we, can, we can grow, we can grow uh, sweet sorghum twice a year. But here now in America, you can just once. The ability to grow sweet sorghum twice a year increases the ethanol and profit potential. So MU researchers look for varieties to be the best candidates for genetic engineering. By you know, taking the genes from the coal tolerant varieties and maybe putting them into another variety that produces more sugar and kind of get the best of both worlds there. Sweet sorghum will hopefully give farmers a viable fuel crop other than corn. It may be that uh, sweet sorghum may have a niche in some of those uh, soils that aren't so productive. Researchers hope this will provide another homegrown biofuel alternative for consumers at the pump. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.